Todd from Sideshow FX and in this video I'm going to go over the installation process of our Photoshop Pro Profiles pack for the new Stream Deck Plus device. Now this pack is unique in that it comes with a set of 10 profiles that are all tied together. So if you follow along with me here in the video, I'll walk you through how to link everything together and get it up and running for you in no time. Be advised that the information in the PDF that's included in your download will be more up to date than this video. So if you follow along here and you feel that you're missing a step, refer to the PDF in your pack as it will always be more recent than what is being laid out here. All right, so let's get going. So when you download your pack, this is what you're gonna be presented with. The first thing you need to do is install our keyboard shortcut file because we've built a lot of different uh, commands into this and it's built off of the original Photoshop default file, so it shouldn't change anything that you've been used to unless you've customized your own. So if you're on a Mac system, what you want to do is you go to the keyboard shortcut file and you'll see that it's divided into Mac and Windows. You're going to take this uh, Mac file and you can drag and drop it into this location here, which will be your, your hard drive, users, your username, library, application support, Adobe, your version of Adobe, I'm running 2023 right now, presets, keyboard shortcuts. And this is where the file goes, and I've already got it here. So you can either copy and uh, paste it into this location or drag and drop it into that location. Now over on the Windows system, the path is your app data folder, roaming, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop and whatever version you're running, presets, and keyboard shortcuts. That's where you need to place the Photoshop Side Effects Pro Toolkit Win document into this folder. And once you've got it in that location, restart Photoshop if you already have it running. And in Photoshop, go to the Edit menu, go down to Keyboard Shortcuts, and here under Set, and you'll make sure that your Sideshow Effects key file is loaded here. If you're on Windows, obviously it'll be the Windows extension. Say OK, and that will load up the shortcut file that we've built for this. Now the next thing you need to do, let's just hide Photoshop for a second. Go back to the, the pack that you downloaded from Sideshow FX, and under the Stream Deck Profiles, under your Mac or Windows, whichever operating system you're working on, you'll see that this has a whole series of profiles. Now all these do need to be loaded because they all work interconnectedly. Make sure that you have the Stream Deck software running. So on the Mac system, you can shift click all of these to select them, do a right click, say open with, and you say open with Elgato Stream Deck. Click that and they will go through the install process. They will install themselves into the Stream Deck software. And there you have it. You'll see all of them have loaded in. And you can check in your preferences. Make sure that you have all 10 of the Photoshop loaded in. Very occasionally it might skip one doing this process, so you may need to just install it manually and you can do that by double clicking it and it will load in or going through the import function down here at the bottom in preferences and you can say import and direct yourself to that profile that you want to load in. On the Windows system, what you need to do is navigate to the Windows folder in the Stream Deck Profiles folder and you'll double click each one of these individually one at a time to import them. Now into the Stream Deck software, if we go under our pull down menu here, let's navigate to the Photoshop main. Because what happens is there are, there's a main profile and there are nine uh, additional profiles that point to this main profile. I'll show you what I mean here. You'll see that we have eight, and these are switch profile uh, functions. So what these will do, when you click these, they will open up another profile that you have loaded in your system. We have to tell it which one to load. Right now it's, it defaults to, yours might say something different than here, mine's just defaulting to an After Effects profile I have in my system. Currently Stream Deck cannot import a profile with a switch profile with the target in place. So we have to manually assign it. So. What I mean by that is, let's click on photo under the uh, profile that you want to load when you click this photo button, we want the Photoshop photography to load. Go to camera raw and select the camera raw, Photoshop camera raw. 
design Photoshop design paint Photoshop painting manage Photoshop manage adjust Photoshop adjust filters Photoshop filters swatches Photoshop swatches so all eight of these have now been assigned so that when I click on the appropriate button it will load that profile so if I go to my Stream Deck device, hit photo, it now loads the photo profile that we've imported. Now you see on the top left here, this is a main key, and this is meant to take us back to where we just were, the Photoshop main profile. It's not assigned yet either, we have to assign that manually. So we would click on this, under profile, we point to the Photoshop main. Now when we click the button, we can go back to our main profile. So by going photo and back to main, we now have a completed cycle. We're gonna do the same for the rest of these profiles. So go to camera raw, main, point to main. Select back, design, click design, main, main. Go back, paint, Main, main, manage, main, adjust, main, filters, main, Swatches, main. And that's all of our main profiles are now have their completed cycle programmed in. Now there's a few additional uh, switch profiles that we have to target and I'll show you where they are. So let's go into photo and this is a good time to demonstrate uh, the feature uh, that the Stream Deck Plus has with the dial strip. Now this is the dial strip here above the dials. By swiping this left or right that will allow us to access the different pages that we have built into this particular profile. So we're going to swipe once, twice to page three of our photo profile and you'll see along the top there we have camera raw, liquify, and filters. These are switch profiles that need to be targeted to the correct profile on your system. So in the Stream Deck software, we're going to double click on Camera Raw, and we're going to go to the Switch Profile here. Profile, Camera Raw. So that when we click that button, we'll be opening up the Camera Raw profile. Click the multi-action to go back out. We'll double click on Liquify, Switch Profile, Liquify. Click multi-action to go back out. Click once on filters. Go to the profile. Click filters. Now we've successfully programmed those. One thing I want to do while we're here is because you'll notice that Liquify was not in the main menu. This is the only access point to the Liquify profile. So let's click on that. And you'll see we have a main. And we want to point the main back to the photography profile we were just in. And pull this down to page three. Now when I click main, that will take us exactly back to where we were, closing the loop. Now let's swipe to the right two times to get back to the first page of the photography profile. We'll go back to main. We're going to go into the design profile. We're going to swipe three times to get to page four of the profile. You can see we have a swatches switch profile here. We'll click on it and point it to our swatches profile. Let's go back to main. Let's go to the paint profile. And we're going to navigate to page four. 
Same thing, there's a swatches switch profile here. We'll click on it and point it to our swatches profile. And that's it for setting it up for your system. Now everything is a closed loop and everything points to where it's supposed to go. As always, thanks for watching and we'll hope to talk to you soon.